In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this assembly, the subassembly lower die. It's part of the Button Maker project. Let's start out by uh, signing into Autodesk 360. You sign in here. I'm already signed in. I'm going to go to Projects and verify that there's a check next to your Button Maker 360 project and that the project is located on the cloud, on the Autodesk 360 cloud. And select Done. You create a new assembly. And place my first component. And that's the item number 5, the bottom die plate. Uh, click somewhere on the page and then on the just set it down and hit escape. I'm going to view it by the front. Uh, one thing I want to do, I want to place it. I want to um, have the uh, center go through the set, these three holes. The, um, the origin. The Notice that the XZ plane doesn't go through the center of the part, so I'm going to constrain it so that it does. I'm going to create a constraint. I'm going to point to this center. Uh, I'm going to highlight the XZ and then I'm going to point to the center of the hole. And you notice that now it does. I'm going to hit Apply and hit OK. Cancel. I'm going to right click on the icon for the plate. And I'm going to ground it so that it can't move. I'm going to place my first components. Uh, let's see, that's uh, items 1 and 12. Hold the control key, point to item 12, and hit open. I'm going to place two sets of parts. So I'm going to place one part uh, here and another set over here. Uh, hit escape. Create constraint. Uh, insert constraint. Zoom in, and I'm going to uh, select this diameter here, and I'm going to want to. You want to make sure that you're placing the part on the side opposite the counter, the countersink. I'm going to rotate around and uh, select this diameter there. Hit apply. Zoom out. Do another insert command. I'm going to select uh, this diameter here. And uh, this diameter here. Hit apply. OK. Cancel. Zoom out. And uh, you can place this uh, these other sets of parts. I'm going to place two more parts. I'm going to place items 11 and 15. Hit the control key. Hit open. I'm going to set them down right about there. Hit escape. Create a constraint. I'm going to do an insert. I'm going to select this diameter there. This diameter here, hit apply. It's going to be another insert command. Let's select that diameter and this diameter here. Hit apply, cancel. Rotate the play around, and, uh, place. Uh, component uh, number eight. Place two of those. I'll place one uh, here and one here. Hit escape. Another constraint. Insert. I'm going to select this diameter right there and zoom in. This diameter here. I'm going to flip it around and hit a 
apply to cancel. And I'll, I'm going to go ahead and let you place the second component. I'm going to place the parts on the, uh, the one, number one side of the die. Place. I'm going to select parts uh, six, control key, seven, and eighteen. Hit open. Set them down. Hit escape. Zoom out. Zoom in. And I'm going to do a constraint. This time it's going to be a mate constraint, and I'm going to mate this surface. to the top of the plate. Hit apply. And if I zoom in, I'm going to select the axis of the, the spring and mate it with this axis here. It's another mate command. So I'm going to select this axis and mate it with this axis there. Hit apply. Uh, do another uh, another mate command. I'm going to mate uh, this surface here with the top of the spring. Hit apply. I'm going to move this out of the way so you can see a little bit better. I'm going to do another mate command, and I'm going to mate this axis here with uh, the center of that axis there, and it automatically chose it. So the parts are aligned. Hit apply. So I've aligned the axis of this part here to the axis of the, the spring. Uh, one more time, I'm going to uh, do another mate command. So man, I'm going to mate uh, this surface. this surface there. Hit apply. I'll move the part out of the way. I'm going to do another make command. Uh, this axis here to this axis again so that the parts are all lined up. Hit apply. Zoom out. Cancel. I'm going to load the parts for this uh, other side that die to place. I'm going to place parts 26 through 29. Control key. Hit open. Uh, place them down and hit escape. Uh, do the same thing here as I did on the other side. I'm going to uh, do a constraint and I'm going to make uh, this. It's a, a, a mate. I'm going to make this surface here. the top of the plate. Apply. And I'm going to align that axis to the axis of the screw. Hit apply. Another make command. I'm going to make the, the surface here. With the top of the plate. Apply, and I'm going to make the axis of this part with the axis of the screw. Hit apply. I'm going to make the surface of that with. spring. Hit apply. Move the part over a little bit. I'm going to make the axis of this part with the axis of that part. Did it automatically? I 
had the part selected, uh, hit apply. I'm going to make this surface with uh, this surface there. Hit apply. Move this part out of the way a bit. And one more mate. I'm going to make this axis with that axis there. Hit apply. And cancel. Now, one last thing. I want to um, notice is these uh, parts, even though they're constrained, they can still rotate. And I want them to be aligned like this. So what I'm going to do is uh, add another constraint and it's going to be a mate constraint. And I'm going to mate uh, this, zoom in, make sure you select this work plane with the zoom out, the XZ plane. Hit apply. And now uh, this part uh, cannot rotate. It's const fully constrained, it cannot rotate. And I'm going to do the same over here. I'm going to add another constraint. I'm going to zoom in, make sure you pick this work plane and the XZ plane. You notice I'm going to pick the XZ plane here. And so hit apply. And now you notice that this part can't rotate now. Cancel. Now, as a last step, what I'd like to do is I'd like to do a cross section and check my work. So I'm going to uh, go to View. And if you come here, uh, I have my window compressed, so you may not be able to, your window may look different, but what you're going to look for is for a, a this cross section, you're going to choose half section, and you're going to choose the same plane, the uh, XZ plane, and uh, uh, hit the check, uh, look at the part normal, base normal, and check that your parts are lined up. on both sides. Come here to cross section and turn end section view. Uh, save your part as subassembly lower die. And if you're done for your session, make sure you sign out of Autodesk 360.